This is a continuation of the cut sheet submittal tool. Now specifically we're going to be talking about these body and common files. Again we used up here a CSP common one for a cover page. You notice it says DMM for document manager because in fact we're tying the various documents using the document manager. Now it says common and body. The common ones can be used across multiple projects and in fact you only need to put them in one project and you can use this sample project to house those documents. So if I come over here to the document manager for this particular project you'll notice I have a cover page right there and it's using common one like so and you'll notice that over here I have common two and common three now these part numbers have already been set up in your system so if I do a P and I do DMM CSP COM F2, you'll notice a series of common files have been set up. You will also notice that there's header files, header 1 through 10, and body 1 through 30. Now, in fact, originally we thought we were going to have something special for headers, and so you don't necessarily have to use these but you're going to want to associate for individual projects using the body 1 through 30. So the bringing the part number into the project is what determines which picture is going to come in. And we use the document manager to associate the part number to an image. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a new part number. So I'm going to go ahead and F11 PDMM CSP dash BODY3, like so. And then we can give it a title. And in this case, I can associate a Word file or an Excel file in addition to PDFs. So PDMM CSP BOD. Uh, y4, like so, and I'm going to say Excel file. Okay, good. Now, the way we associate a document is we come down to the DMM docs and into our project, and then we locate the file. Add, and then we locate the file. And you see here we have a Word file that I'm going to click. Uh, and then we tie it, in this case, to document body number three, like so. And hit Save. And then we want to go ahead and add the Excel file, for example. And we're going to tie this one to body four. So, so that's all you have to do. You specify the part number on this side, and then you link using the DMM to the corresponding do document over here. Once you've made that association, you're ready to use them in your cut sheet submittal tool. So I can simply come down here to print and do preview and then say cut sheet combine all items. Now let me pause on that for a second. On a proposal you may not necessarily want to print every image. Okay, So you have the option at the, at the line level to print this image or not print this image. And so that's how you can control what you want to print. Now if you say if you print all, then it will, you won't have to make the individual selections. 
come down here to this guy, come over here to print, cut sheet, select all items, and then go. Now the system first created a PDF for the proposal. Notice it's slowing down for the Word file and for the Excel file because it actually has to pull up Word, convert them to a PDF, and then it combines them all together. So here we are. We have our cut sheets in the middle. So then we have the, the current draw. We have the Word file, the Excel file, and then the certificate, and then the warranty example. So if I go on down, this is our table of contents. Then we have the actual proposal, like so. And then we have the cut sheets. And there's that MD, one that we added on the fly. And then this is that duet item that we added. And then we have our, our current draw calculations. And then we have our Word file and then we have our Excel file, and then we have our certificate, and then our warranty statement, like so. There you go. So that is how you put together a cut sheet document using the tools provided. If I only want the cut sheets, I can just come down here to this guy by itself, and then we will not get the proposal. It'll skip the proposal. It'll just put together the cover page, and then the cut sheets, and then the individual documents as per. So this time I have my table of contents. Notice the proposal is not there. It is only the cut sheets and then the other documents that we talked about, be it the duet and then the battery calculations and then the Word file and then the Excel files. and certificate and then warranty statement as well. All right, so there you go. That's how you use the cut sheet tool. Feel free to call tech support for help on this. Thank you very much.